If you didn't know about the Vanderbilt Whistlers before, well, you know about them now. Jeff Pack and Preacher Franklin have made headlines at the College World Series. Some find it annoying, but it's a motivator for this Vandy Boys team. Well, there's a reason why Vanderbilt baseball is the number two overall seed in this year's NCAA tournament. This team is loaded with talent. In fact, the Commodores matched an SEC record with 13 players selected in this year's MLB draft. Here now with Austin Martin and describe that moment standing up on that stage tonight with your brothers and holding up that trophy. Proud, proud moment. How do you describe this team's consistency and how you were able to really keep it throughout the season? It's, it's hard for any kind of team to do that, but baseball especially. I think we just, it was just the, our, our ability to separate every game. After a string of subpar starts, the Indians rotation seems to be back. And for the first time since August 1st, Danny Salazar will get the start on the mound. Now, just a reminder, Salazar actually went on the disabled list after disappointing two inning performance and a loss to Minnesota earlier in the month. Now, his MRI showed inflammation in that right elbow, but he has thrown in warmups for the past couple of days. And Terry Francona says he is ready. Imagine if baseball players had to use something like this in the field. Well, good thing the game has evolved throughout the years, and now there's a glove for almost every position. Since the Cavs won the NBA title on June 19th, the Tribe has not lost a game. Today, the Indians would go for their 14th straight win, hoping to break a club record. The ship has sailed here in Columbus for the Clippers 2016 season, and there is a lot on the line, considering they just came off of their 10th Governor's Cup championship. Well, the Indians have also brought back the importance of base running right now they lead the AL Central with 102 stolen bases it's not even close and really that could come in handy in that postseason when you were younger I know that you were a pitcher at what point did they say hey we're gonna put you out in the outfield yeah well I actually made a decision myself the MLB trade deadline is on Monday and while the Indians are looking to make some moves right now they're focused on stringing together wins at home the tribe taking on the Oakland A's Jim Tomey inducted into the the Indians Hall of Fame tonight along with Albert Bell, Frank Robinson, and Charlie Jameson. As for the game, it was tied at two in the top of the fourth when Abraham Almonte just unloads this one. The first home run of the season for him, Tribe go up three to two. Indians now at four to two in the fourth and hey, party at Napoli's. Mike Napoli connects to center, two run home run makes it six to two. Tribe goes on to win six to three. But the real test was teaching me how to look that flawless. Who's your friend over here who's going to be helping us out? That's uh, the hitting coach's son. This is Rogan. the hitting coach's son. Yeah. And he's going to be giving you some ground balls. You're going to show us kind of how you get it done, and then I'm going to yeah. take a few. Yeah. Perfect. I have fun, but not, not dance. Oh. <laughs> From one to ten, Giovanni, how did I do as a fielder? I give you a um, zero. <laughs>